So I've got the chart that reflects that Morgan Stanley view, uh, talking about dangerous markets in emerging markets, 4242 on the Bloomberg. Um, James, it's too simplistic, is it, to say money leaves emerging markets and, uh, and goes to the United States at this time of trade turmoil. So what are your emerging market uh, hopes, and, hopes and fears? Well, I think we need to unpack what is going on. And to me, this is a classic credit cycle for emerging markets. We've seen many times before. And therefore, the policy response, I think, is now going to be critical. And I expect emerging markets to ease policy in order to ensure that their domestic financial situation is not damaged irrevocably. Uh, that ultimately will be supportive of emerging markets. So I think that we will probably see weaker currencies in the emerging world against the US dollar on a trend basis. And I do think that the policy response will exacerbate that challenge but that will mm. also then sow the seeds of long-term recovery yeah because doesn't that weaken the currency and then make it harder to pay dollar debt it, it absolutely exacerbates the challenge for those who are borrowed in US dollars. Interestingly, and that is obviously a huge issue for the destinations that have issued in dollars, there are many countries who have been issuing in their own currency who are now relatively well placed to cope and will benefit from the weaker currency. James, when we talk about currencies, I put it together in WCRS in, in my terminal year to date for the emerging markets. And the, the classics are there. The, the Turkey is at the bottom. Argentina is at the bottom. Brazilian real is at the bottom. But you would say don't give up yet on, on all currencies, all hard currencies. What, what exactly do you mean by that? that I see some uh, improving politics, which is typically supportive of the outlook for currencies. Uh, I would also say that we have an improving real yield climate because economic fundamentals, many emerging economies are better than they have been before. And therefore, although it is now the Vox populace to be negative on the outlook for uh, economies such as Taiwan and Korea, I think this is an excellent moment to buy into exposure to the areas where Asia does things best. So I am looking at companies like Taiwan one semiconductor at Samsung, companies where I see excellent long-term fundamentals and currency weakness presents an excellent long-term buying opportunity.